Welcome to the Groups of the Future presented by the Data Company. My name is Matt Conniam and I'm joined today by Jake Dillon. These demos normally take us around 90 minutes, but we're going to give you a quick 15 minute run through. I'll start with a little bit around the data company itself. Traditionally, they work in the healthcare, insurance and financial service sectors, but in recent years have begun to work with construction organisations to help unlock their data and provide business insights and drive benefits. The company has around 50 employees based in the UK and South Africa and is actively engaged in enterprises in both markets. Historically, the data company have partnered with, partnered with leading solution providers to enhance their product offering and the existing skill sets. So, um, what challenges do we face in construction data management? Firstly, we all know that information silos exist within our organisations. Over time, each department and system has become a silo, meaning reporting is only ever focused on a single discipline and very rarely enterprise wide. In these scenarios, reporting may become subjective and sometimes be influenced by the individual department compiling the report. The traditional monthly reporting cycle in construction causes issues due to the time taken for data to be prepared for the site teams. On occasions, it can take up to six weeks to get cost data on a new project. This especially can be a problem for the short term contracts, where, for example, a three month project may be around 50% completed before the first set of costs are issued. Duplication of data input is another challenge we face with different systems being operated on site and in the back office, although they're collecting similar data, for example, HR and payroll and time and attendance systems. With construction companies operating multiple site locations and teams, data management is always going to be a real challenge unless there's an absolute consistency of process. And finally, in construction, end-to-end -end solutions are not the norm and most businesses have a loose collection of applications that are not integrated in any way. So we have the, our answer to this is the Finium ecosystem. It's a platform that utilizes pre-built components to provide rapid acceleration of de development and data projects. The core of the platform is made up of two distinct parts. Firstly, Data Finium, an intelligent data hub, and Info Finium, a composable development platform. Our hub has more than 360 ready-built data connectors plus modules for data management, consolidation, cleansing, API and integrations and alerting. The development platform has component layers for BI and dashboards, security, automation and workflow, and can be fully customized for client branding where required. We can ingest many different data types, both structured and unstructured, from almost all file types, from CSV through to PDF, application databases, websites, plus live data feeds such as IoT and APIs. Once captured and processed, data can be presented to the end users on just about any device. Going step one, one step further, we are now using our Infofinium platform to collect data from, which user, from users which we pass back through our hub and then use it to update the source applications. This capability enables us to create quick apps that solve local and specific issues in organisations without the need for changes to core applications. I'm now going to hand over to Jake Dillon, who'll take you through a bit more of the theory. Thanks, Matt, for um, for that introduction. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit more, as Matt said, in detail about the, the Finium platform and how we really see a construction data hub uh, working for enterprises. Um, so as Matt said before, we have the Finium platform and at the core of the platform are, are really two components. So in the middle there, you see that a data Finium component um, and what this diagram is showing and what and what we do as the data company is be able to take data from you know any any data source really so we have different types of data sources as Matt said earlier stored data real-time data you know the internet of things and additional data sources that that may not be in your current organization so our specialty is, is really to create a construction data hub um, for organizations. So some of that construction data hub will be out of the box functionality as we as we like to term it. So as an example, if you're a coins customer, we, we've already done an integrations to coins. 
So, you know, we can pick up data from coins and, and pick up data from wearables and telematics that you might be using within your business to create a creation construction data hub for you. What we're really looking to do with it with the data finium component is by taking that data from all of your existing sources um, to create a, a single source of truth or, or a data store as you see there before that can be served out to into various different um, various different end endpoints. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the different endpoints and the different use cases there. But what we're really showing here is, you know, from our from from our experience and what we're trying to show is that because we have you know experience in this sector and, and experience as a data as a data platform we can take data from ERP employment you know finance systems such as you know Don Seed coins or whatever systems you might be using and bring that data together before you can leverage off the back of it um, some of the items that you see there at the bottom you know data visualization and analytics and predictive analytics are really you know in terms of the glimpse of the future is where we're looking to go and the predictive analytics and ml is something that we can talk about later um, but really that's the glimpse of the future but even for the right now what what we're looking to do by bringing all that data together is is create that that real-time dashboards data visualization and data insights before moving on into the predictive analytics matt if you just go on to the next slide for me please um, so if we talk specifically about construction now and, and the construction data example, construction data hubs, what we have here and, and you know, it's probably a common problem for a lot of people on, on the webinar today is you have a lot of data across your systems and, you know, as as mature construction companies, you, you, you know, it's it's what we're not trying to do as a data as a as the data company or a data hub is we understand that there are already going to be a lot of ERPs, a lot of systems in place for these for these different use cases. So what we're doing is using our data finium platform to, to pick up that data and clean and transform it before we can use it in, in different scenarios. Um, you see there along the top, you know, those are, are really the different data silos that would exist in an organization organization. Some of them are not just construction. Um, but you know some of them are some of them are related to uh, cross industry challenges but what we see is that specifically in construction due to the you know the dynamics of on site off site operations you, you really get those data silos and this is where something like a, a, a data hub and, um, and and being able to bring all that data together can really help both on site and off site work closer together which is really how you how you will see a return on investment um, we would be using data finium as kind of what we said before is to really clean and transform some of the data um, across all those silos and then using that data to, to serve those particular use cases. So as I said, we'll move into some of the use cases in a minute. Um, but what I would say is, you know, we have Matt said before we, you know, we use our info finium tool as part of the finium suite to create apps and, and dashboards and portals. So, you know, in that mindset as i said before we're not necessarily looking to replace erps but where there are gaps in processes between systems or system hands-offs or there are manual processes that are currently in place what we will do is use affinium suite to um to really address those gaps so you know as an example if you've got a a time sheeting process in place and we'll talk about that later you might already have a process in place but to really integrate those two systems such that you know when a new project is onboarded or a new project is created within the system we'll fire out you know alerts to all the systems such that that project information and a project uh, product project startup sheet really goes out to all of the systems so that's a particular use case that we can talk about later as well um, if we now move on Matt, to the next slide this is um, an example of some of the dashboards that we have within 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 that construction data hub and the Finium suite that we've built for construction. Um, so what you're looking at here is is really a screenshot of an online portal that gives um, uh, that gives some information around key, key, uh, key performance indicators for a construction manager. So as as you saw before, we've connected to lots of different systems, and as I said before, you know using coins as an example or, or other systems we pick up all that data and address and address what a construction manager really needs to see so in the middle of the screen there you see data about financials planning health and safety quality information and resources so as an example the number of resources that you know the man hours that are being worked the health and safety incidents that happen on a construction manager's site and from a financial perspective what my what the applied values versus the certified values are all of this data is being updated in real time from systems. And as I was saying before, we've worked with customers to both, you know, 
pick up that data from from ERP, such as an example, as an example of uh, as I've given before, or as an example of financials. You know, for smaller companies, it might not necessarily be prudent or useful to fill in a, a complicated CVR report that needs to be filled in at the end of every month, um, whereas you're only doing a six week project report. So we've built a custom mobile CVR that that um, that might be useful for smaller projects, but still rolls up into the um, construction managers end view such that he can see all that data. Uh, Matt, if you want to just move on to the next slide. Thank you. Um, just now wanted to talk through another example of, of what we've given before. So, you know, from from our experience and, and you know, Matt is, um, has helped us a lot with this in terms of being a board advisor and, and other partners as well. Um, one of the common problems I think that we've seen across the industry is, is you know, just getting simple things that are correct, like, you know, um, being able to show end customers that everybody on site has the correct CSCS card or set correct CSCS record. So as I was saying before, the, the issues with the, with this type of type of reporting and type of um, data gathering within an organization is that you're really looking for information from a, from a few different sources and being able to present that back is also adding additional data sources. So if we think about training records, you're you're looking for data from a health and safety perspective in terms of, you know, what what um, what records that people have got, what training records that people have got in terms of who's on site today that might you might be wanting to look for that data from a time and attendance system. Um, what their you know their expertise is and their, what their expertise is you might be looking at from a human resource perspective and then to replay all that back you might be looking through the IT system to show that data back to saying who should have access to this this data because of GDPR concerns etc to say that who are the right concerns to do that so we've built you know pre-built connectors to these different systems um, and a data schema and data mapper such that we can actually get an, app, an, end, an end report out of this such that you know well every system that you're using will map to our data schema and then it, and you will end up with a report Matt if you just click onto the next slide that looks like this so this is a visual representation of a training matrix which is updated in real time um, with data being updated in real time with people out on site that are in real time all the historical data is also being kept so if you wanted to see that data going back you know two months or three months you could therefore see that um, I'm just conscious of time as well so I'll, I'll move on but as you can see there you know you've got on the left hand side you've got your employees on the right hand side you've got what qualifications they've got um, with a simple yes or no thumb up or thumb down with the date that, with the date the um, qualification was awarded and an expiry date and you know we have configured alerts such that you know such such as that you know if the certificate is coming up to expiry um, uh, the, the project support coordinator would get an alert um, and also by integrating back to access control systems you would actually be able to say that what well, if that certificate has expired to stop those people going into into um, onto site which would act, which would you know eventually reduce risk nice one Jags. thanks for that um, I'm just going to pop back in now and give a quick example of some integration solving a problem we came across in a company. They bought their biometric time and attendance system three years previous. Um, the input was fairly unregulated, mostly done at site, and it, there was no real process in place. And the result of that was that the number of workers held in the system had grown to 25,000, but there were still only 11,000 in the in the company's HR database. A bit of an imbalance, and that as we've written here is it actually some of the individuals had five records. The HR team had no control of his ability who was eligible to work and or until paperwork actually arrived at, main, at the main office which may have been two or three weeks later in the end. So what we did we put we changed the process slightly that the HR worker records were as they were entered into the HR system once approved by HR we collected the data through data finium and passed it back out to the time and attendance system via a custom and custom API straight away this removed the need for input at site level because all the data was coming from the from the back office the head office it eradicated errors in payroll runs as you can imagine with people having five records they'd collated five payroll numbers and it gave back control of the compliance back to the HR team. Basically, the HR team are now controlling who entered site. And in case of disciplinaries and things like that, they had the 
they had the means to actually bar people from site which had never been around before and of course the increased data integrity now between the hr system and the time and attendance system allowed us to create better reporting for the for the guys out on site this one here is an example of the the workers on site by trade the pie chart on the left in the last seven days now the data for the last seven days was taken for from the time and attendance system the job types and the trades taken from the hr system and by bringing it back together it gave everybody a much better view of what was what was actually occurring on site now the this it was available at every level from a site level a regional level and finally at a company level meaning that everybody understood and knew the exact resources that were placed out on site basically every day which is which was amazing so finally where are we heading with all this so firstly we want to be able to allow businesses to make data-led decisions and begin to predict outcomes with certainty not just guesses not just opinions but just actually data back decisions we'd like to put this together all the different sections we haven't gone through them all today with you but we have data across basically every sort of function within the construction project and i think making bringing that together and putting that down so we can actually look at what makes a successful project provide health checks and early warnings where necessary because we know if we've seen certain patterns we can start to warn people that they're heading down a, a certain road or confirm that they're actually on a good road and the project will work out well artificial intelligence machine learning i don't know jags do you want to add a quick bit in there yeah i think just on that just a, a point i think for construction companies it, it, it may be a challenge to to leverage artificial intelligence and machine learning i think they'll be very reliant on software providers and software partners um from from what we see in the industry it, it's unlikely that you know it's going to follow other industries like financial services currently where you have a bank or a team of data scientists um, to to kind of really look at how you can use AI and machine learning. Um, so what there is a trend is and, and you know what we're looking to do from ourselves as well is to try and operationalize some of this some of that AI machine learning. So if you're really looking at you know challenges in terms of where where the industry is going you know using those technologies is one thing but it'll be really working in partnership with the business to understand what actually the business wants from those technologies and then being able to select the correct technology to help them um you know use cases on things like that that, that um, we've done and, and are quite interesting are things such as you know being able to predict you know where and where where a health and safety accident might happen obviously there's a massive consideration on that in terms of you know the benefits of that both you know from a from a from an employee well-being perspective as well as a financial perspective um, so those are the kind of things that we're you know that are out there and that we're looking to do and help customers uh, uh, leverage those technologies thanks mate um next one collect and analyze data from both systems and on behaviors now it's not just static data we're looking at we're actually looking at data on performance within departments our invoices getting processed on time our grns getting collected on site and completed properly those little cogs that go on in the back office that keep the business running the more data we can collect around those things the more visibility we can get and the more value we can drive out of some of these processes we've already heard today from the guys in the 5g and the boom fields about digital project life cycles and having that that model running through the whole construction life life cycle and being updated as we go and then the last one is enable the application ecosystem to reduce input and increase data integrity as we've said we have so many systems with similar data that each have their own set of people inputting into them bringing those together working out where the one system of uh, the one one version of the truth is and get and having a single point of input for that will massively re reduce the amount of resources we need to run a lot of our systems i thank you for taking the time to, for to today and um please feel if you need to get in touch and thank you very much